And we're about to sleep in this glass igloo to hopefully see the northern lights. And today we're touring the entire igloo and sharing what it's like to stay in one while also trying Finnish cuisine for the first time and testing this wacky traditional Finnish practice. As you can see, the glass is 360 degrees and it covers the entire ceiling and like upper part of the walls. The bottom is wood so that nobody can like see inside and just watch you sleep. <laughs> Obviously with snow comes clouds. So we're just crossing our fingers that the clouds part tonight just so that we can get a chance to see the Aurora. We actually were lucky enough to see them last night when we were in Santa Claus village. Guys, they are so, so bright. <laughs> it's so beautiful. They were insane. It'd just be nuts to be in your bed and be able to sleep and like see them. You know what I'm saying? Let's check out the inside. Back. I gotta take this off quick. So as you come further in, there's a nice cozy chair to snuggle up on if you don't want to go in the beds. Also, they don't want us touching the glass and they make that very clear in the sign right here. Makes me really want to touch it, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> and then we move over here to our two beds. They are really comfy. I have sat on them and I'm gonna sit on them again. <sighs> really good. You have a water boiler and some cups. You also have some tea making essentials. And then this black book, which basically details all the information of this whole resort igloo how to's. Right here, they have a few Finland boasts. Apparently they're the biggest milk drinkers, the most honest public officials, the happiest people, and the biggest snow castles. So we can't try to bribe anyone here? Apparently not. Another important feature to note is that there is minimal lighting and that is intentional because there are a lot of igloos around in this area and if you have light that's really intense it's going to affect the vision of like the other igloos from seeing the aurora borealis which is the reason why we're all here in these igloos. Now into the weirdly shaped bathroom. As soon as you open the door Right on the other side is a mirror. Hi guys. Hello. Then once you move into the bathroom you have the sink with soap, a little soap dispenser right here. You also have, what is this? Oh, shower gel provided. And these cool little bottles. I love the glass or plasticky glass looking thing. You also have a bidet, of yeah. course. As you can see, the glass on this side is more foggy, probably because it's a bathroom and people are gonna be changing and undressing, so good. privacy. Yeah. <laughs> a good thing. Yeah. Oh, they offer complimentary sandals as well. Let's go check out the grounds. There are 39 glass igloos here total, and most of them are these twin style. So they're like round, like perfect circle kind of. And then there are five different igloos that are ovular and like more long, and those are the family style. Just look at those. It's crazy to me that places like this exist in the world. Doesn't this look like it's like a Martian dome or something? That's just crazy. It's honestly really smart too, considering they get the Aurora Borealis a lot. So like, it's a perfect way to bring tourists in. Oh, I mean. It brought us in. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that huge mound of snow. That's crazy. Think I can climb it? Well, he's going for it. <laughs> King of the world. If I were to describe myself in one word, it'd be graceful. Don't you guys agree? Okay, so this whole Arctic igloo glass encampment is situated right on the edge of a lake and it really makes you feel pretty remote. First off, there's very, very few houses along the edge, like the rim of the lake. The sun's going down, it's gray, it's just trees. There's just kind of nothing up here. Oh, and there's a campfire. It's not lit and I don't think we can light it, but if you want a campfire, there's a campfire <laughs> here. <laughs> Uh-oh, it fell. Oh, uh oh. Are you guys okay? <laughs> it looks like they are. Oh. oh. Careful. Careful. <laughs> Anytime I'm this remote, I just want to like live in a tiny cabin in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's so cold. Whoa. You see that? It like broke the slush layer. <laughs> And as pretty much every place in Finland, they have saunas. They have two of them. One of them is public, that one over there. And then there's a private one and a private jacuzzi over there that you can pay to get into. Hello, what is this? Uh, ice box. Oh. 
Yeah, let's uh, let's do it, eh? Ice glasses. Ice glasses. They have a little pop of ice bar. So this is a Finnish liquor, no? Yeah. Is it like and whiskey or? Is it... uh, this is like liquor. Okay, just liquor. Yes. And this salmiak is like a Finnish candy. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, cheers. 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 <laughs> Salmiaki, no? Yeah. Finnish candy, also a liquor. Whoa! How it tastes like? <laughs> it tastes like black licorice. Yeah. yeah. Is it strong? Yeah. Oh, it is. I, can, <laughs> I haven't eaten anything in a while, so I can like, you know, and you feel that warmth. Whoa, you're right. Oh my word, it tastes really good. Yeah, black licorice. You like it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, can we go back to the cabins now? So it's 7 p.m. now. I'm really hoping it's going to clear up because tomorrow's Wyatt's birthday. So what a birthday present it would be to see the Northern Lights, right? What are you doing, love? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending out positive energy to the skies to yeah. bring us the lights. <laughs> no, I, I'm serious though, I think. It's work. Wow, look at those ice crystals. Because this was our last day in cold northern Finland, I wanted to try something a bit extreme while still here. Is it a dumb idea to go jump in the lake really quick and then go to the sauna? Yes. You think I'd be okay? It, it is a dumb idea. Instead, I'm gonna again try the Finnish practice of rolling in the snow between sauna sessions. We tried it in our last video, but a lot of people reminded us that it's better with fluffy, fresh snow. So here goes nothing. Should I do it right here? Yeah. Let's go for it. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, it's terrible. Oh. <laughs> you should go back in. <laughs> All right, I've been in the sauna for like an hour, taking breaks so I don't get too hot. That was so nice. I'm glad. I was, how long was I gone? Like three hours. I didn't, I just made, there's some wonderful Finnish people in there. And I met some Germans. Super cool, I love Europe because there's so many different freaking people. All right, everybody, we're going to bed. We have the Aurora alarm. It's really cloudy today, so yeah. I'm not sure, but. But whose birthday is it right now? It's Wyatt's birthday. Hey. Good night, everybody. Good night. What even are the Northern Lights? I don't know. Good morning, everyone. Well, guys, we didn't see him. <laughs> Yeah, I even like stayed up. I couldn't fall asleep because I just kept opening my eyes and checking one last time. Me See? too. Oh, really? Yeah. Here's a uh, overlay of what we would have seen, what we saw two nights ago. This is insane. <laughs> Woohoo! I hope you guys can see them. Because they are bright. It's like a whole thing across the sky. But at least there's breakfast here. This is one food we actually haven't tried in Finland. It's called a, um, it's a Karelian pie. I guess it's rye dough. Finnish people love their rye and it has rice porridge stuffed in there. I guess it's kind of like a breakfast dessert treat. It's like oatmeal and then wrapped in dough. And then it's like a little bite-sized thing. Does it have any like flavor to it? Or do you have to add the cheese to add the flavor? I think you might have to add, it's like a light flavor, like an oatmeal flavor, so not much. You add the cheese to it, it kind of takes the flavor of the cheese. That's really good though. I eat that for breakfast every day. This looks like a flattened baked potato, guys. It really does, it's kind of hilarious. 
That's good. It definitely has a little bit of a flavor to it. I'd say it's more savory than sweet for sure. Kind of buttery and creamy on the inside and then the rye bread makes it more hearty. Thank you. <laughs> I told them not to sing, but they still did. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> yes. What? Needless to say, if we'd seen the Northern Lights, this would have been one of the most amazing experiences we'd ever had. But we did enjoy sleeping at such a unique accommodation, even without the lights. There were a lot of fun wintery activities. We tried finished treats, and the area is just really beautiful. Now it's off to the train station. Alrighty, everybody. Well, we made it to the train station. We have our tickets back to Oulu, and then we're gonna fly back to Helsinki. Bye.